It is mission accomplished for the USS Harry S. Truman. The aircraft carrier wrapped up 10 months of upgrades and repairs at Norfolk Naval Shipyard last week, and today it completed five days of sea trials. Mike Gooding tells us the Truman team is ready to rejoin the fight. Today's arrival of the USS Harry S. Truman is as symbolic as anything else with the ship having gotten out of the Norfolk Naval Shipyard in Portsmouth one day early after a major overhaul. And that's not something that happens all the time. Yes, I'm very happy. Um, it's been a while since we delivered a car on time, and we're just glad to be a part of it and just happy to, be, to make the mission possible for the Harry S. Truman. The 19-year-old aircraft carrier returned today to Naval Station Norfolk. Last week, the Truman completed what's called a planned incremental availability at the Norfolk Naval Shipyard. You know, you bring a team of hardworking, dedicated individuals together and actually make them a team, they can accomplish amazing things, and that's what they did. After 10 months in the shipyard and five days of sea trials, the Truman now rejoins the fleet, ready to take its place among deploying assets. And that's just the way the captain and crew like it. I like to say we are sort of at halftime, where you know, we were in the fight for the first half. We took a little bit of a break to rest, refit, get some water in us get fired up to get back to the fleet, I can tell you the crew is very motivated to get back out to sea and start executing what they do every day. The Truman's departure from the Naval Shipyard opens up a spot there for the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. The Ike is scheduled to begin its shipyard availability in August. Similarly, the recent completion of a midlife overhaul in nuclear refueling for the USS Abraham Lincoln clears a spot at Newport News Shipbuilding for the USS George Washington later this summer. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.